So now we're going to work with this plastic that we talked about. Uh, this was rescued from a toy package that was going to be thrown away or recycled. Um, all I did was cut it into a square and then I laid it down on my image. I carved it with a razor blade. Uh, you can also use, like we mentioned, the number six tool that you get in the array of, of blades that you get for linoleum cutting. The number six kind of looks like a, like a spearhead, and we'll show that to you later. Now with this Akua ink, which comes in the, in the, the black kit there, all you have to do, because you don't need very much, is get just a little bit of ink on a piece of mat board like this, and then you kind of squeegee it over your image. And you can see I'm, I'm letting the ink flow into the grooves that I carved. And it's amazing how little ink you need. Um, I had 60 kids at Crestwood Elementary School doing this. And we didn't use that much ink because, like, like I just showed you, that's all it was. You, you dipped it, and then you squeegee it, and you're done. And that's not even a quarter teaspoon. You know, it's, it's very, very minimal. This Akua ink is water-based, but it has an interesting property. It, it really doesn't dry. Um, a week from now, you might still find this ink to be somewhat liquid. I don't know how they're doing that. I don't, I'm not a chemist, but it's, it's pretty amazing because you don't have to worry like we did with the other ink about things drying up. You can just keep going because this will stay wet for a few days. It cleans up with soap and water, so that's real nice. All I'm doing is removing the excess ink that I don't want, and I'll have to do it on the back side as well, because I had a little bit of overspray from my mat board here. So what I've done is I've, I've kind of massaged away the excess ink and I'm leaving it in the grooves. And you saw how quickly that came together. It's ready to print. So I set this press at what looks like just under 11 for a piece of plastic like this. You flip this up, put that down like so. Make sure your hands are somewhat clean because we, we don't want the blankets to get full of ink. Uh, they will get a little dirty and somebody has already done that so don't, don't feel bad, it's going to happen. And that's really the worst thing you can do to this press is make, our, make the blankets you know, slightly dirty. <laughs> so have fun, don't worry too much about it. Um, I have a piece of paper that's been soaking in this water bath and I'll need a, a piece of newspaper There we go. And we'll just put it between the newspaper. Get the excess water to come off of it. The reason we soak the paper is because now it's very flexible. You can see how much more flexible this paper is. You can use cardstock or you, or you can use like nice cotton rag paper. But because it's flexible, it's going to go into those grooves. When you press this through the printing press, it'll go into those grooves because this paper is now very malleable. So you see we got our cat. I still think that the, uh, the press could be a little, a little tighter there. I, I'm thinking about maybe the next time we go through, 
dialing it down just a little bit more so we get more pressure. Um, it's a little light for my liking, so we could try that one again. And that's the point, too. It's, you're going to have to play with it. You're going to have to figure out what's best for whatever plastic you're using, because milk jug plastic is going to be different than this plastic that I rescued from a toy package. Um, you know, so you'll, you'll figure it out. And, and eventually, you know, you'll be running these things like clockwork, and, and the students will file up, and you'll just keep things going. And, and it turns out really great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to re-ink this because we discovered, well, it wasn't quite what we thought. So again, all you need to do is get some ink on there, scrape it into your grooves, squeegee-like, At this point, your participants could take their mat board and go back to their station or where they're sitting or whatever, and they could start working on this. Um, so you could have a few people come up, they can quickly get some ink, off they go, and they can decide how much they want to remove. Maybe certain areas want to be a little darker, maybe certain areas want to be, you know, almost gone. Um, you know, you control that. and so. We'll do that again very quickly. So we'll take our paper out of the bath that's been soaking. Really, you only need to soak it for about 45 seconds. Put it between some newsprint. And this is just a, a paper, you know, a, a newspaper. So you don't have to buy you don't have to buy any newsprint. You can just use what's, you know, what's being discarded. So we'll put this down. And let's see what happens with this new pressure. Yeah, I, I, could, I could feel the difference on that one. There's a lot more pressure happening. So now, we had a little bit of ink on my fingers there, but as you can see, a lot more depth of, the, of those lines. And you also get a lot of interesting little swirling motions that you can't really control. Every print is going to be different you cannot standardize this one. Um, and that's what's, that's what's fun about this. You know, each one is going to be slightly different and unique.